Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja on the Commodore Amiga. Right, I thought I'll give a 16-bit a go of this game, a 16-bit computer, and why not indeed, because I owned an Amiga back in the day. So I have reviewed this game on the Commodore 64, the Amstrad CPC, and the ZX Spectrum. The uh, Commodore 64 version played very well, so the Amstrad weren't as good, but it was still playable. And the Spectrum version wasn't as good as the CPC version, but it was still playable. Right, so we don't get no menu music, title music. Why ain't that, why ain't we got no title music? That's a bit that's a bit mean, isn't it? The eight bit versions we got title music. This is a 16-bit computer, why haven't we got title music? Yeah. So F1 one player, F2 two players, F3 music on. So we can switch the music on and and the music off. Okay, it's got the ability to play two players. It says just me, so I'm gonna be playing by myself. President Ronnie has been kidnapped by the ninjas. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue Ronnie? Well, yeah, if the price is right, I consider it. Right. Okay. Oh, it's loading. Okay, it's loading. So, one disc game. There we go. Oh my god. Well, I was expecting better than this. So straight away I think he's a, 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 a notorious people. So we get um, music during the game. Okay, that's fair enough. Sounds pretty decent, the music. Oh, look at the slowdown. And immediately there's a problem. Why can't I jump in a, in a like, in a diagonal direction. Do a spinny kick. That's that's crap. I can't jump in a diagonal direction. That's a major flaw of the game, isn't it? You do that with the 8-bit versions, no problem at all. Sound effects are really crap. So I've come to the end of the right now. I'm going to be fighting the boss. And it's got to load up the boss separately. Oh fuck here now. Oh my god. There's a problem. I can't jump diagonally. And that is a major problem. Oh my god. This is worse than the 8-bit versions. This is worse to play than the 8-bit versions. Not saying the 8-bit versions were bad. But we're playing this on a Commodore Amiga. 16-bit technology here. Even the backgrounds look pretty. Nothing, nothing great. Right, stage one cleared. Go to the next stage. Well, I will if it fucking loads up. Oh, now we're on a truck. Yes, I know it's a truck now. Obviously, the, the graphics on here are more detailed to, so you can tell it's a truck. 
Plus here, because I've never played the arcade game before. But I need to be able to jump fucking diagonally. How the fuck am I going to make the jump? You can't jump diagonally, so how am I expected to make the jump? I can't jump diagonally. How am I supposed to do that? Flying kick? No, you can't do that. Now, every time you... Oh, you got to lose a life to get over it. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's not boy, isn't it? How stupid is that? Pull in a direction upwards on a joystick and push fire, surely. So here's the cab of the truck. Oh my god. Up in the corner, jump. You can do that on the 8 bit systems. Why can't you do it on the 6 bit? Well done. That is pathetic. I can't jump in a diagonal direction. What a major fucking flaw. Well, luckily we got off the level. So you got to lose a life to jump over the truck. And it's loading. And it's loading the, and it's loading the boss. Yeah, luck it needs to do that. Yeah, this is... Pretty incompetent. Terrible. To say a 16 bit game is worse than an 8 bit game. To say it's worse, the Spectrum version is better than this. At least you can jump diagonally. Yes. The Spectrum version is better in this. You heard me correctly. Okay, you can't compare graphics because obviously the Amiga's going to win in colours and graphics there, of course. But even though the Spectrum version graphics weren't bad, it was quite detailed. Obviously it was monochrome, but there you go. You expect that with the Spectrum. But it far played much better than this. I'm glad I didn't have this on my Amiga back in the day. Fucking glad. And I'm dead. Why is this? Oh, it's cracked by Cortex. Okay. Means someone went out of their way to crack this piece of shit. And for some reason, oh my god, you got to enter your name in some, oh my god, oh I went, this, this is, right, I can't even get on the, J. look at that, I'm picking on the J and it's registering it as K. I, J, that, that, look at that. It won't even register the, the J. Look. How pathetic. That is pathetic. What a waste of fucking time. What a, what a... So how am I supposed to end the fucking thing? And what's happened? It's cr oh my god, it's gone back to the top. Yeah. Yeah, I've had enough of that. What can I say? Can I say anything good about it? Gameplay is terrible. You can't even jump in a directional. You can't jump in a, di in a diagonal direction. That's a major flaw with the fucking game. 
the 8-bit versions piss all over the Amiga version. They're all much better than they're all much better to play than this piece of shit. Seriously, the Amiga version is terrible. Don't play it. Don't waste your time. It's fucking awful. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye. Good fucking riddance and all.